Hey guys, so now let's add the export to CSV to our other data. So now let's uh, copy this or add a comment product export, then just copy this code and then let's add the exporting of data to our supplier table or data. So let's check our database and see the columns that we can export so we have here the location name and email so let's just update the query then here same thing we inner join the user and then here let's update the suppliers so let's bar down the data and let's try so for now let's comment out this header so we can bottom the data see it in our screen now let's add our data one supplier and then dump so here we have the data um, next thing we need to do is let's just select the columns that we want to export so first is we need the the id so let's just add an alias and then also the created at and as you can see here the next is the first name and the last name of uh, the one created the supplier so also we need to have the location and then the emails uh, here uh, let's uh, specify the name of the table so it's fresh uh, here are the data then now here let's just update um, instead of product let's just use um, supplier let's update this variable then created by so now let's try to comment out the um The header so we can export it to date to the CSV so let's check the file so as you can see here we have the data or the columns um, so next thing we need to do is going to um, the S created that so let's just remove this one make sure we format it correctly let's refresh so here so we have an error so let's try to make add a code between and let's open as you can see here it's working fine rendering fine the column name now let's try to um, remove the, the first name and the last name so since we already have the created by columns uh, here we can just use the unset function to remove the first name and last name so now let's try to export again And as you can see here, we have the application email created by. Next thing we need to add is the purchase order. So, same thing um, here. Let's add, update the link and add the parameters. So, the report type would be purchase orders then here uh, let's just add a new if statement 
for the purchase order or X form. So another F statement. Um, here let's just check the columns that we can pull. Um, so order product. So here we can have the batch number. Um, name of the supplier, the product. So let's just copy that one, paste and then here. We can update the table. So let's just update or remove this. Um, yeah, just remove the select from the order product. Then here we can do the pull the ID, the quantity we ordered, the quantity received. Also pull the quantity remaining. Then also add the status. The batch number and then the um, created a columns uh, here. Let's try to bottom the data product star screen. So Excel. So now let's remove the header script and then see here and define once this order so we need to add the the mapping so here should be the purchase order then here as you can see we have the data so here we need to add more uh, columns on the product and the supplier so we can use this one uh, and rejoin same thing um, Add it here. Inner join the order product the um, supplier or created by by the user's ID and the here we can add the supplier table supplier's table so it's refresh so uh, should be suppliers So as you can see here, we have the data. So now let's add the, the first name, last name, first. And now it is pulled. Next is the supplier name. So we can see it. Uh, let's check. So actually, um, we need to remove the alias so currently it is set to the supplier name so let's remove this one now just add the comma and move the order created by to the correct position fresh so here as you can see we have now the data So next we need to do is let's add the batch number um, descending order. So in our CSV file we need to group them. So next thing we need to do is we can just remove this first. Let's see if it is exported. So you have an error now let's try to update this um, variable so it should be order product let's 
let's refresh, try again, let's see if it fixed, so here we have now the, the data so next thing we need to do is we need to group the data so let's add a new line in between the uh, the batch so here um, we can have let's add or loop the order products then here let's have the create a variable um, the main data so let's add the PO, POs then here we have the batch number as our key and then let's just insert all the order product so let's refresh as you can see here they are now grouped um, here we'll just um, loop or loop to the POS and then just copy this and move inside and finally let's add e and echoes a new line so there will be a line break or interval between the batch so let's refresh and as you can see here we have now exported and there's a gap between the batches now let's try to add that to our delivery history so here let's set the report to delivery and then let's add a new um, if statement so if type equals delivery then here on our headers let's add a delivery key which will be delivery report then here um, we'll just copy code and then let's look at our order product history so we have this order product ID we have the quantity received so let's update our query so on order product history then we need to pull the products the product name then the um so we have this id that links to the order product so let's just remove um remove this column so let's pull the date received the quantity we received and then here the, the order product ID so we don't need that one um, so here let's link join the users table um, I mean the order product table so update our one and then here users suppliers stays the same so let's update the variable let's refresh x warp uh, let's remove this for now as you can see here we have the data so actually we can update our query so instead of inner join we can use another method to, to pull or show the same data like the product name so I'm going to show you how to use that one so using the where clause so we'll just remove this inner join uh, here we'll just link the table so order product so we have the suppliers so order supplier just update the uh, table or in columns that we need to pull so 
the other product history we can add here for our columns to pull the first name, last name, the product stat name. So let's refresh. So we still don't have it. Products. So let's add that um, table in our from close. So products, and then here let's add that products. So if we refresh, we have the first name, last name, the product name also. Let's pull the supplier name. So now it's looking good. And next thing we need to do is we're going to mm -hmm. we refer the first name. So let's show this one. We don't have that column. So let's refresh. So we have now the data. And next thing we need to do is include the patch. Uh -huh. And then here we can just copy same thing with what we did with PO, so we'll just group by the batch number so delivery by batch, so we'll look to the deliveries and then insert it inside and as you can see here, just group by keys so next thing here is, let's just look to the delivery by batch then here, let's use deliveries then let's replace this order product and set it to the or change it to delivery um, variable. So now let's refresh, uh, comment that out, refresh, click the export, let's see the data. And as you can see here, we have the delivery history exported to CSV file.